Hi, this is Abul Kalam. Today we are going to learn improper fraction to mixed fraction. How to convert improper to mixed fraction? This is useful for students, those who are in the grade 3, 4, 5 and 6. This is for school children. This PPT is for school children. Okay, shall we move on to the first question? Convert 7 by 3 into mixed fraction. Convert 7 by 3 into mixed fraction. How to do this question? First of all, you have to think how many 3's are there in 7. How many 3's are there in 7? 3 1's are 3, 3 2's are 6. Okay? You have to come very close to that number and stop there. Okay? First think how many 3's are there in 7. Next step, 3 1's are 3, 3 2's are 6. Once you get this 6, what you have to do is subtract this 6 from 7. Okay? 7 minus 6. What is 7 minus 6? 1. Okay, shall we do mathematically? Okay, let us start do mathematically. 7 divided by 3. What is 7 divided by 3? So, 7 you have to divide by 3. So, start doing uh, telling 3, ta 3 tables, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. Right? What is this 2 now? 2 is called quotient. 7 is the number, 3 is the div dividend. So, 2 is the quotient. 3 2s are 6. Right? Now, what is 7 minus 6 now? 1 right 7 minus 6 is 1 so how to write this 7 by 3 we can write like this 2 1 by 3 that means you have to start from here 2 then next 1 then 3 you have to start from here 2 1 by 3 okay start from here 2 1 by 3 okay so what's your answer 7 by 3 is 2 1 by 3 oh it nicely swings 7 by 3 is 2 1 by 3 right Shall we go to the next question? The next question on your screen is 12 by 5. Convert 12 by 5 into mixed fraction. How to convert 12 by 5 into mixed fraction? First of all, you have to think how many 5's are there in 12. How many 5's are there in 12? 5 1's are 5, 5 2's are 10. Now subtract this 10 from 12. Now you subtract this 10 from 12. So once you subtract what you will get? 12 minus 10 is 2. Okay, shall you do mathematically? Okay, 12 divided by 5. Okay, this is the first step. Then 5 2s are 10. What is this 2 is called? 2 is called quotient. So 5 2s are 10. So now what is the remainder? Remainder is 2. Okay. So how to write this in mixed fraction? 12 by 5 equal to 2, 2 by 5. You have to start from here. Okay, start from here first, next second, then third. Okay. First second, third. Okay. So, once you draw this, this will get like this. 7, this 12 by 5 is 2, 2 by 5. Okay. Oh, nicely it swings. 12 by 5 is 2, 2 by 5. Oh, once again it swings. So, 12 by 5 is 2, 2 by 5. Shall we go to the next question? Convert 11 by 2. 9 into mixed fraction. First of all, you ought you have to think how many 9's are there in 11. 9 ones are 9. There is only one 9 which is very close to 11, which is less than 11. So, 9 ones are 9. This 9 you have to subtract from 11. So, 11 minus 9 equal to 2. How to do mathematically? 11 divided by 9. So, 9 ones are 9. 1 is the quotient now. So, this 9, 11 minus 9, what is the remainder? 2, the remainder is 2. Now, how to write this as a mixed fraction? Which is the first one you have to write? First, second, third, right? So, first, second, third, that is 1, 2 by 9. Shall we go to the next question? Oh, it swings, it swings, nicely it swings. Convert 14 by 3 into mixed fraction. Yes, now you got the idea. You have to think how many 3's are there in 14. You have to come very close to 14 but less than 14. 3 1's are 3, 3 2's are 6, 3 3's are 9, 3 4's are 12. So, 12 is very close to 14. Now, what you have to do is you have to subtract this 14 and 12. What is 14 minus 12? 12. 14 minus 12? 2. Okay. So, the remainder is 2. This 2 is called remainder. Okay. Now, we will do mathematically. 
14 14 divided by 3 4 3 fours are 12 okay now what will be getting the remainder 14 minus 2 12 is 2 okay so 14 divided by 3 is 4 2 by 3 14 divided by 3 is 4 2 by 3 i you you know now right now you are becoming an expert right this 4 should be first it should be written first this is second and this is third shall you do the next question ah it swings 14 divided by 3 equal to 4 2 by 3 the next question convert 23 by 4 into mixed fraction now you have to think how many fours are there in 23 okay that is 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 4 threes are 12 4 fours are 16 4 fives are 20 now you have to subtract this 23 and 20 this 20 should be subtracted from 23 what is 23 minus 20 the remainder will be 3 right how to do this question okay let us do mathematically uh, 23 divided by 4 4 fives are 20 5 is the quotient what is 23 minus 20 what is 23 minus 20 3 3 is called remainder how to write this first second third okay first second third so 23 by 4 equal to 5 3 by 4 23 by 4 equal to 5 3 by 4 okay thanks for watching this video kindly do remember to subscribe this channel